Hello and welcome to another in our series of videos about IX series programming using the IX support tool. In this episode, we will go over status output programming with the IXWMA and IXWMAA IP relay adapters. A couple of notes before we get started. Uh, since the two adapters program in the exact same way, we will refer to them as IXWMAs going forward for simplicity. Also, we are going to show this using a master station to show the status output, but the same settings are available on door stations that have more than one output. This is going to work a little bit differently than in our example showing door release. That is because, in this case, the master stations are going to directly signal the IXWMA instead of going indirectly through the door station. Also, we are going to need to configure it so that the IXWMA can listen to the secondary output on that master station. First, we need to configure the master station's SIF settings, which is the master sending the signal to the IXWMA telling it to fire a relay. Navigate to Function Settings, SIF. Use the dropdown to set the master station's SIF functionality to enable. Versions of IX support tool downloaded from aphone.com will have some of this information entered in advance, but we will go over all of it just to be safe. The program type should be set to 0100. Enter the IP address of the IXWMA under IPv4. Set the destination port to 65014. SSL to enable and the connection to socket. Scroll right and make sure that change contact is checked off for the master station. You can configure multiple stations at once, though we will only be showing one. Once everything is programmed, click update in the top right corner to save the settings. Next, the relays on the IXWMA and status outputs on the master station need to be programmed. Navigate to option input, relay output settings, relay output. The IX support tool will display relay output one by default. In our case, we are going to use the master station's number two output to give the status output. So we'll use the drop down to pull up that menu. In versions of IX support tool downloaded from aphone.com, usually the secondary relay on the master station will already be set to give a status output when it receives a call, which is the case here. If it is not, Make sure to put a check mark under each of the call priority levels for that master station. Next, we need to configure the appropriate relay on the IXWMA itself. Now, since we're already under relay output 2, we might be tempted to use the IXWMA's relay output 2 for programming, but you'll see that it is still being used for door release from a previous example. So, we will use the drop down to switch over to relay output 3. So under Relay 3, set the IXWMA's function to contact change SIF event. Then to the right will be the column labeled contact change SIF event. Click open to bring up the list of stations in the system. Select the master station that corresponds to this output on the IXWMA and click OK. Click update in the top right corner. At this point, use the Display Settings drop-down menu to configure any other relays on the IXWMA using the same steps. Now, if, like in the previous example, we were using the station's primary output, we would be basically done at this point. However, we need to make sure that the IXWMA interprets the signal from the master station correctly. By default, the IXWMA only listens to a station's main relay output. Since we used the secondary output on our master station, we need to change the name of the IXWMA itself. So navigate to Station Information Identification. By default, the IXWMA only listens to a door or master station's main relay. To let it take the signal from the secondary output, add a slash to the name of the relay, followed by the number of the matching relay on the IXWMA. In our case, we are using relay number three to listen to our master station's secondary relay. If more than one relay is listening for a secondary output, add a period and the next number. So for example, if we were using three and four, we would add 3.4 after the slash. Once everything is configured, navigate to File, Upload settings to station. 
select all stations, and click settings. Once the upload is completed, the IXWMA's relays should trigger when the master station receives a call. If they do not, review the previous steps in the video and make sure everything lines up. Thank you for watching.